Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix volume controls not working on Windows. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problem, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Restart the computer. Restarting your Windows 11 or 10 is the first and most important action to take before adjusting the volume bar. Your PC may occasionally need to be restarted to resolve this problem. Check if this works or not. Number 2. You can also adjust your sound settings. Restarting your computer will fix the volume control problem and you can then change your machine's sound setting after that. After restarting, right click the sound option. From there, choose the sound settings option. After that, click on the more sound settings. Under the playback tab, right click on the device and choose properties. Go to the levels tab and change the sound settings to what you want. After that, click apply and then ok to save the changes. Step 3. Try updating your audio drivers. To do this, press the windows key plus R to open the run box. From there, Type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open Device Manager. Then in the Device Manager window, expand the Audio, Inputs and Output section. It will list all the audio drivers installed on your computer. From there, right click on the audio driver and choose Update Driver. Select Search automatically for drivers. Window will automatically scan for available driver updates and will download them. Restart your PC to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on the driver and choose update driver. But this time, select browse my computer for driver software. Then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. From there, select the driver you want to install. Generally, it is the pre-selected top option in the list. And click next. After that, restart your PC to apply the changes. If even that doesn't work, you can try going to a laptop or audio card and speakers manufacturer's official website and download the latest driver from there. And simply install the drivers and restart your PC to apply the changes. Step 4. Update the Windows Ensuring the good performance of your Windows operating system involves keeping it up to date with the latest updates and patches. These updates serve a crucial role often encompassing bug fixes and enhancements that can directly impact your computing experience, including issues related to volume control. To do this, Open settings using window plus i hotkeys. From there, choose windows updates from left panel. Click on check for updates option. Wait until window download all the available updates. Once done, reboot the system and check for the problem. Step 5. Run the windows audio troubleshooter. There are many built-in troubleshooting tools available in windows 11 or 10. Any audio related problem can be found and fixed with this audio troubleshooter. The steps necessary for starting the audio troubleshooter on your windows are listed below. Open setting using window plus i hotkeys, choose troubleshoot under the system tabs. From there, click on other troubleshooters. Click on run next to playing audio. The troubleshooter window will pop up and look for the problem. Do the same for video playback and recording audio. After that, reboot the system and check if Twitch is still having trouble or not. Step 6. Try Clean Boot. Clean Boot is a troubleshooting approach in Windows that allows you to start a computer with a limited collection of launch programs and services. This assists in identifying and isolating program conflicts that may be causing volume control not working problems. To troubleshoot in Clean Boot mode, perform the following steps. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. From there, Type MSC O N F I G and press enter to open the system configurations. In the system configuration window, go to the services tab. Check the box that says hide all Microsoft services. Up from there, click the disable all button. Next, go to the startup tab and click on open task manager. In the task manager window, disable all the startup programs by right clicking on each entry and selecting disable. After that, close the task manager and go back to system configuration window and then click OK and restart your computer. Step 7. Boot your PC in safe mode. To repair a blue screen on a Windows 11 or 10 PC, booting into safe mode is the best way to resolve the volume stuck at 100% problem. It allows the user to boot into Windows with some essential features enabled. 
To repair a blue screen on a Windows 11 or 10, booting into safe mode is the best way to resolve the blue screen of death also known as BSOD error. To do this, press the Windows key plus I to open settings. In the systems tab, scroll down and click on the recovery option. After that, click the restart now button for advanced startup. Go to path, troubleshoot, click on advanced options and click on startup settings. Select enable safe mode by pressing F4. From there, uninstall third party software that was caused by blue screen of death, BSOT error. After that, finally restart your PC and check if the problem is fixed or not. Step 8. You can also scan for viruses and malware. Malware and viruses can indeed cause volume control not working problems, disrupting your computer's functionality and potentially compromising your overall system security. To effectively address and prevent these issues, it's essential to take proactive measures. Begin by conducting a comprehensive computer scan using a trusted and authorized antivirus or anti-malware tool. This scan will help you identify and remove any malicious software that might be responsible for the volume control not working problems you are experiencing. In addition to regular scan, it's imperative to keep your antivirus software up to date. Antivirus updates include critical definition and patches that bolster your system defense against emerging threats, ensuring that your antivirus program is current can significantly reduce the risk of malware-related issues including those affecting your volume control settings. To check for issues, conduct a complete computer scan using an authorized antivirus or anti-malware tool. Make sure your antivirus software is up to date. You can also download a free malware detector tool. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.